Today's workout is gonna be a high intensity emotum. We'll talk more about that workout here in a few minutes. Let's get started with a good warm up. With our feet under our hips, hips tucked under a nice elongated spot, we're gonna start with our cervical vertebrae. We're just gonna take our chin down to our chest in the flexion, then all the way up to the ceiling into extension. Try to keep your shoulders back and down and keep breathing normally into the nose, out to the mouth. Diaphragmatic breath here. Good job. Very good. We're gonna take that chin from shoulder to shoulder. Nice rotational pattern here. Very good. We're gonna take our chin and we're gonna tilt it to the left shoulder. We're gonna jut our head out, turn it to the right, and then pull it back in, make a double chin. Smooth it out. One more. And then we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna keep our chin tilted to the right shoulder, out, switch, in. Smooth it out. Very good. Move, we're going to move on next to our shoulders. Just some shoulder rolls here. And reverse it. Very good. We're going to go into an arm screw with a side hinge. So we're going to go ahead and keep our knees soft. We're going to shrug it up, roll that shoulder over, keep this opposite arm open. We're gonna hip hinge towards that side that we just rolled over. Good hip root here. We're gonna reverse it, go to the opposite side. Remember, breathe normally here. Shake it out. We're moving to our elbows next. We're gonna go hitchhiker series. We're gonna have thumbs up in the front. We're gonna rotate those thumbs in towards our face and then throw it out. Nice rotation on this elbow. And then we're gonna go ahead and reverse that opposite direction. As you're doing this, make sure you're checking in with your structure. Make sure your hips are tucked under. Make sure you're still elongating the spine as we go through these motions. Very good. We're gonna go next all the way out. Thumbs still up, we're gonna bring those thumbs in towards our ears. Once again, rotating and throwing out that tension. And reverse. Very good, shake it out. We're gonna go ahead and clasp our hands. We're gonna move into our wrists. Just some figure eights here. Very good, shake it out. We're gonna go with some gun slingers next. So big inhale, big chest, raise your heart to the sky. We're gonna really let our hips tilt forward as we get into this, this uh, first position. We're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna exhale. We're gonna go into a hollow body position. Expel all of our oxygen all the way out. And then repeat. This time you're going to expel all that oxygen and roll to the left. Do a nice stretch on that lateral line. All the way in. We're going to roll to the right, opposite side, and then in. One more. Very good. Nice job, guys. All right, next we're going into uh, some hip openers. So we're going to go head over foot on one foot, soft knee here. We're going to bring that knee up, step over that fence, and then bring that foot right back over to the front. Over and 
and back, over and back. Good job. Good job. We're going to take that same leg into a knee swing, knee up to 90 degrees. Heel's going to kick forward, swinging back to 90 in the back. Job. Hips should be starting to burn by now. We're going to go to the opposite side, stepping over the gate, opening it up, and then closing it down. Last one here, and then we're going to take it into a knee swing. So knee up. And all the way through. Very good. We're going to do some hip, hip rolls here first. So we're just going to start with our hips toted forward and then we're going to tuck our hips underneath. Almost like a foosball table. We're going to inhale as we tilt our hips forward, exhale as we tuck them underneath. Now we're going to go to the side, all the way to the front, making a big hip circle. As we bring our hips to the front, we're going to squeeze our glutes to protect our low back. It's going to do about five hip rolls here in each direction. and reverse it. Very good. We're going to work our knees next. We're going to go ahead and bring our feet under our hips, soft knees, knee circles here. About 10 in each direction. And then we're going to reverse it, go the opposite way. Very good, shake it out. We're going to go to the floor for our last piece. Feet are flat, knees are up. We're going to go to the shin box extension. So we go ahead and let our open, our open hip and our closed hip come together here. Nice tall vertical spine. If you need to on the first couple reps, you can post to help come into this extension. We're going to go ahead and sit all the way back down. Again, I can post with my hands, get from one side to the other, and assist me into this extended position. Switch back and forth. We're going to do two more on each side. Very good. Excellent work. Now we're all warmed up. Let's talk about our emotum. All right, guys, for our workout today, we said it was an emotum, which stands for every minute on the minute. We're going to have two exercises we're going to focus on today. I'm going to go through both exercises here in a minute. It's really important that you go through and you practice each movement, the, the recommended movement, but also the regression as well. As we go through this, again, it's high intensity. You might get to the point where you need to throttle down. Use that regression to get yourself back into the fight. I want you to be thinking about three things as always. I want you to think about your structure, your activations, how you're getting from point A to point B, and lastly, the ranges of motion. They all matter, and they're all unique to you as an individual. If you feel that those things are starting to break down, you're gonna to want to use that regression until you gain that composure, that ability physically and mentally to get back into the fight 100%. All right, so as we know in emotive, we're gonna complete the, the, the needed work at the top of each minute. 
The time that is left over is for recovery. That recovery is extremely important. I'm gonna to try to pace you guys so that we end with about 20 seconds of recovery. You're gonna to wanna to stand up, use that recovery breath, and work out any tension that we built up during that previous round. Okay. Our first exercise in our emotive is a switch squat. So with our feet shoulder width apart, we're obviously gonna rip the ground apart. We're gonna start with an under over grip with our mace. We're gonna keep this mace chest level horizontal. We don't want this mace to drop during our work. We're gonna use our scapular retraction, pull our shoulder blades together, pull this mace apart 30% to lock it in here. This handle side elbow I want you to pay attention to. Don't let it flare up. I want you to keep that shoulder packed and engaged, okay? So elbow should be pointing straight back at all times. We're gonna perform a, a squat, we're gonna to come to the top, we're gonna to perform our switch. Cross body top, prayer hands, mace across the base, cross body top, locking it in, chest level horizontal. Nice smooth switch transitions at the top of each rep. 10 reps. Need a regression, you're gonna put that mace down. You might, find, you might find yourself at some point during the workout feeling a little smoked with the weight of the mace. Put the mace down for a round, or maybe you just need to use body weight the whole time today. Maybe you have something going on, some tension, something isn't feeling right. Use your regression. A regression is the body weight power squat. So we're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna screw our feet in the ground, rip the ground apart. I'm gonna bring my arms up here and I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades together. Almost like I have shark fins on both sides. Elbows are straight back. Almost like as if we were holding that steel mace. I'm gonna keep my core tight. I'm gonna push my hips back. As I lower, I'm gonna press my arms out, radiating tension through these arms. As I come back out of the bottom of this squat, I'm gonna accelerate up and pull back in. Again, use the regression if you need it. As always, you're doing 10 reps, whether it's with the mace or if it's with the body weight regression. Immediately following our squat, we're gonna go into our front kick through. We're gonna perform four reps on each side. So I'm gonna demonstrate the kick through and I'm gonna give you the regression as well. We're gonna start in a hollow body position. Hips are tucked, rib cage is down. And next, I'm gonna start by stepping up my right foot next to my right hand. I'm gonna pull this hand off the ground. I am then going to bring this knee through and then extend. I'm keeping this elbow sealed off to my hip. I'm gonna bring that leg back in and I'm gonna go right back to my hollow body position. Make sure you establish this hollow body position for, for every rep. I'm then gonna do the opposite side, step up with my left hand with my left foot Bring this elbow to my hip, knee is coming through, and then I'm gonna extend the leg. I'm gonna bring it all the way back in, good core activation throughout, back to my hollow body hold. Let's try two reps on each side. Now, if I need a regression, we already did it, we're just taking out the leg extension. So, same setup, same starting position. Hollow body. I'm gonna step up, I'm gonna bring that elbow off the mat, and then I'm just gonna bring my knee through. So it's a front knee through. I'll go right back to my hollow body. Step up, elbow off the mat, elbow into my hip, knee through. Right back to my hollow body. Now, if you need to regress even down from that, no problem. We're just gonna do a mountain climber. So once again, starting in our hollow body position, you're gonna step up next to your right hand, and then go back to hollow body. Step up next to your left hand, go back to hollow body. So a couple more regressions there to meet the needs that you have at that point in the workout. Excellent. Regardless, 10 squats in four, front kick throughs or one of those regressions I gave you. The time that's left over inside that minute, again, is for recovery. Be smart with that time, get your composure back and prepare for the next minute of work. Excellent. As always, if you need to go back and practice or watch,
these movements, to be very familiar with them for the workout, go ahead and do that. And when you're ready, let's kick this off. All right, guys, high intensity emotive, 10 switch squats, four run kick throughs on each side. Here we go. Three, two, one, go, go. Very good. Head to the floor. Four kick throughs on each side. Coming right back to hollow body after each rep. Good job, guys. Five seconds. Switch squats. Keep this elbow on the handle side locked down. So we want our hands back to the floor. Good work. Good job, 20 seconds. Good recovery breath here. Keep that heart rate under control. Three, two, one, go, go. Ten good switch squats. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, good job, 20 seconds. 
to recover. If you're falling behind, regress either to your body weight, power squat, or your front knee through. That recovery time is important. Good job. Remember regression there? Front knee through, take the extension, extend the leg out, or just mountain climber. Try to stay on the schedule though. Round nine coming up. Back half. 
20. Great job, guys. Good recovery breath here.
work. Four more.
High intensity. That was no joke. All right. Great job, everybody. Tough workout. If you picked a challenging mace weight, that was a killer. I love it. Hope you do too. Let's cool it down. All right, guys. As we begin our decompression cool down, we're just going to get into our quadruped position like we usually do. We're going to inhale all the way down into our belly, and we're going to let that low back drop. We're going to look up. We're going to exhale and round out our back, expel all of that oxygen, hollow body position. Very good. We're going to go and stick our right leg straight out, put our foot flat on the ground. We're going to go ahead and inhale as we lean forward and then exhale as we sit back towards our heel. Feel a nice stretch in our adductors here and then we're going to repeat. Exhale through that stretch. Inhale forward. All the way back to the top. You jump from that leg in, and then we're going to set the opposite leg out. Inhale forward, exhale back. degree angle down towards that front heel. This knee should go past your front set of toes and then back, inhale back, exhale forward. Again, hips down 45 towards that front heel, knee past our toes. Lean into this, get a good stretch in those adductors again. Stretching the hip. Last one. Very good, put those hands right back down. Foot back, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sit through. Excellent job. We're gonna go ahead and shin box position, feet are flat, knees are up. Again, you can use these arms to post, just roll these shoulders back, safe shoulder position. We're gonna go and just let these drop, open up these hips a little bit. You can pulsate them as you exhale. And then we go to the opposite side, same thing. One more time. box over. We're going to sit nice and tall. We're going to fold towards this front knee. Three breaths here. Good 
jaw. We're going to shin box over to the other side, switch, and then fold towards this front knee. Three breaths once again. Walks over. We're going to bring this little back hand to our front knee. We're going to coil out as we twist. Nice decompression of this spine. And switch. Back hand to front knee. Coil out of this stretch. flat knees up. I'm going to go ahead and lay back. I'm going to hit my piriformis. I'm going to put my left ankle on my front, on my right knee. And I have two options here. I can either reach through to behind the knee or I can reach through to in front of the knee. If you're grabbing in front of the knee, it takes a little bit more mobility. You might, you might feel having to just grab behind the knee. We're going to exhale, pull this tight. You should feel a nice stretch on that left piriformis. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull tight. No release, last one. Good job, feet flat, we're gonna go ahead and put the right ankle across the left knee. Same concept, grab behind or in front, whatever you're available, whatever you have available to you, we're gonna exhale, pull it in tight. This time you should feel your right piriformis, get a real nice stretch, feel nice. Exhale, pull it tight. Inhale and release, two more. Good job, guys. Very nice work today. I'll see you next time.